somebody told me one time, said, well, they might want to know in case they know it. No, if you're on top of things, you know who my opponent is. Especially if you know who you know. Well, a lot of them didn't yeah. even know who our state representative is. That's because he slipped in there unopposed, and I laugh when I see the word re-elect. You weren't even elected. <laughs> Does he even know what this means? <laughs> I think he does. Anybody else got anything? One comment on the way. Yeah. I was in the uh, Department of Workforce Services where my wife was, uh, she worked for PCSSD and in the consolidation under the new schools, her job was eliminated. And if we were going into the place the other day, State Department of Workforce Services, I said, this is one state department that really makes people angry a lot of times. And now they are with the gun-free zone sticker. I said, I just, just makes me uncomfortable even going in the place. Because it's, a, it's another state agency that makes somewhat desperate people very angry, and yet they're setting up everybody who comes in there, plus their own employees, as potential victims. And just that sticker on the door made me very uncomfortable. Because I, because I've, you know, <laughs> some people can get very upset when they get, get desperate like that. Well, I'm very pleased that when we decided to retire here in Arkansas that I was able to sign up to be a voter because we traveled so much when my husband was in the military. We were never in one place long enough for me. So when I became a citizen and then moved to Arkansas, I am more than pleased and privileged that I can vote, and I'm delighted that I can vote for you. Thank you, thank you. If not, I'm not giving her a ride home, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, Miss Mary went. Miss Mary went. Her mom went. Hey, I got friends there in high places. Unless you choose not to. All right. Uh, actually, I am not from Jacksonville. I came to Jacksonville in 2006. Whenever I came here, I didn't know who anybody was. It was just no. I didn't know who the mayor was. I didn't know who. Unfortunately, you met anyone. Well, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I met him through Ray. Another one of our classes. Sorry. Our, our class. um, Patrick, I, 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 I always tell everybody, we graduated at the same time, but he was one school and I was another. But, and I guess the first thing that I'd known Patrick was I'd seen him on Facebook and all this kind of stuff on Facebook. And it was like, huh, makes sense to me, you know? And so then, actually, Maddie came up here and met. And it was like, oh, cool. So then we were, we were having, um, our combat veterans group was having the rally. We were supposed to be having the lieutenant governor there. He backed out on us. I was really disturbed about that. But at the same time, I had invited Patrick over to the house to meet our group and talk to our group about the gun free. We were actually talking about uh, oh, the, the, the Jacksonville thing. That's yeah. right. Yeah. The towers over the there towers to thing. talk to you about your biker group participating yes. in their event. Yep. Well, so then they, I guess, liked what he had to say, too because our commander of our group is the one that invited him out to our rally to speak in Lieutenant Governor's place. So he comes out, which he had sent me his little speech beforehand, which, you know, I really didn't care how long he took. I mean, I was planning on 15 minutes, and everyone's like, no, that's too long, that's too long. I'm trying to burn up time. <laughs> you just didn't know that. <laughs> I'd have known that. I could have talked about you it. Could have talked. <laughs> yeah. You could have talked. He did so well. I mean, it was like, um, 
everyone who, who was at our rally, it was like, oh, wow, well, he makes sense, don't he? Yeah. And most of them aren't from this area. In fact, I'm not sure any of them are in our dis this district, maybe one or two, but the majority of them aren't, but they still like what he has to say, you know, and so that's why I'm thinking, you know, that if the people of Jacksonville, if this area like the things he says, imagine how many others out of this group that's not in this group would go along with what he says. So that's why I think that, you know, he would make a really good representative, not just for our community here, but for the entire state. Amen. Amen.